Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to From Point A to Point Z. Today, we're going to find out why these boots are the best bug out bag boots for beginner preppers. So stay tuned. Before I go into the review of the Keen Targi 3 boots, I would like to ask my audience a question. What kind of footwear do you keep in your bug out bags? Do you prefer boots such as these? Or do you like lightweight options like running sneakers? Leave your answer down below so I can get some input. These right here are the Keen Targi 3 waterproof mid boot. They have a lot of features that I think you should consider when you're buying your next pair of bug out bag boots. They feature a metatomatic footbed design in which the insoles are engineered to for arc support. The boots have a breathable waterproof membrane that is patented as a clean dry. If you can see right there. The boots feature mud shields that are made from leather as well as have speed hooks for easy lacing of the boots. They also have a injected TPU heel capture system which makes it really nice and comfortable for the boot to catch your heel as you step on your heel. Moving to the bottom, even though it is very worn, you can still see that it has the four millimeter traction lugs on the heel of the boot. The Targi 3 boots also have the Clean Sport NXT materials, which help with odor control. Nothing. To go a step further, Keen decided to use an environmentally friendly leather made from an LWG certified tannery. And the features don't even stop there. It also has a waterproof leather, it has a performance mesh that is breathable, a dual density midsole, as well as a removable footbed. Okay, let's go over the pros before the cons. These are my pros of why I think the Targi 3 are the best bug out bag boots for beginner preppers. The first one I have is that it is 2.85 pounds. That's incredibly lightweight for a boot of this magnitude. The second pro I have is that it has very little break in time. Another major pro for beginner preppers. The third pro I have is that the outer sole has amazing traction and can vary from different types of terrain. Everything from the trail to the urban setting or a kitchen setting. And even though it's fallen apart, the traction is still somewhat very good. Yeah, you can see how it's loose and falling apart. I have to say that's a big thumbs up because the reason why it's like that is because of chemical exposure from my work. The next pro I have is that the boots have amazing ankle support with the help of the injected TPU heel capture system. TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane and it does a great job like funneling, I guess you want to say, your heel to a specific plot, uh, spot on the inner sole. Another awesome pro these boots have is that even though they are falling apart, they have cracks on the sides, on the, on the mud shields and all that, they are still waterproof and that's amazing after about two years of everyday use. And the pros don't stop there, I am going crazy. I have never developed any hot spots with these boots, whether it was a wool sock or a cotton sock, which is what I use on a daily on a daily. The next pro I have is that, in my opinion, the wider toe box featured on the Targi 3 waterproof boots are a big plus because when you wear wool socks, you can really feel the void be filled from going cotton to wool socks, if that makes sense. But yeah. Big thumbs up for that. The last pro I have here is that for beginners, these boots can be worn from an outside of preparedness mindset. For example, at a workplace or a family gathering. And to go even a step further, Keen sells low cut boots or low cut shoots, hiking shoes. So you can consider that as well. Okay, okay, the cons. I'm going to contradict myself here a bit, but even though I say the boots are having quick break in time, the rubber outer sole doesn't, especially in an urban setting. That's why I recommend purchasing these boots uh, during the dry season so you don't have to worry about slippery surfaces. The second major con I have for these boots is that, and in my opinion, they shouldn't be used for extreme work. For example, like for park rangers 
or a police force, don't even consider these because they just will fall apart too quickly. But for the casual hiker or through hiker, they might be a better consideration. If you're going to hike with 40 plus pounds on your back, I don't think these boots will work very well for you. I think that you should go with the, the six inch um, heel support. And even then, the lightweight construction of these boots might not support the heavy backpack that you have. The third major con I have with these boots are that the inner soles do not last at all. I want to say in approximately six months after purchasing these boots, I already had to uh, purchase the Dr. Scholl's insole so you can get at any pharmacy. Uh, kind of disappointed on that, but it's not a big deal. You, you, I can still use those uh, Dr. Scholl's you know, like supports in other boots I have in the future. So that's not a real big con, but it's there. The fourth con I have with these boots is that they do not have any thermal capabilities. So forget using these in the winter. I recommend these for three season hiking and buying some really good um, snowshoes for, or snow boots for the winter time. And when it comes to flat feet or people with flat feet, I don't think you're gonna like these shoes because the metal to matic uh, foot design really emphasizes the arc support. And I think that would be hurtful for people with flat feet. Okay, the last con I have with these boots, it's not really a con, but rather because they're so durable, you should reconsider taking these for long hikes because all of the cracks, all of the separation between the midsole and the boot, these are tick magnets if you go into, uh, if you go hiking. You can remedy this by getting some gaiters and putting them over the, um, the front of the top of the boot. However, it won't protect from ticks right here where the where the leather meets the outer sole i wish companies would address this but hey for 150 bucks these boots are amazing boots and the in my opinion the best bug out bag boots for beginner preppers so thank you very much for watching links are down below make sure you click like share this with your friends on social media peace out guys